A night of celebration turned deadly outside Mountain View High School. An SUV hit two people as they were leaving the school's graduation ceremony in Marana. An older woman is dead, her nephew in critical condition. Northwest Fire says the accident took place around 9.30 last night near Thornydale and Linda Vista. A group was walking to their parked car. Another car hit an 83-year-old woman. She died at the hospital. That woman's 59-year-old nephew is in the hospital tonight. And now their family is asking for help sending their grandmother home to be buried. Kevin keene has been talking with the family, including the teen who graduated last night. He joins us from the newsroom. Guy, at that senior's graduation ceremony, there should have been tears of joy. Instead, tears of sadness. It was graduation night for Shelby Penrod, and her grandmother Dottie was there. My last memory was of her giving me a hug. She had a huge smile on her face, and she, she said that she was very proud of me. So um, that was probably the best, best time. These are tears of sadness on the 17-year-old's face because her grandma died. The 82-year-old and two others were crossing the street when a truck hit her. The group was not in a crosswalk. Dottie's nephew is in intensive care. She was a saint. Today, Shelby and her sister, Amanda, remember their southern grandma. They called her Dottie. She was a, a Texan true and true. She was that, she had that twang. Like I said, the sweet tea was her, her trademark. She was just a beautiful woman. I mean, she lived a beautiful life. They're quickly putting together a yard sale to raise money to send Dottie back home to Texas to be buried. Folding clothes, Amanda wishes this wouldn't have happened on her little sister's special night. You see all these kids celebrating and, you know, so happy with joy. And I, as, a, as an older sister, I wanted that for my sister. And she did not get to experience that the way that she should have. I'm at least proud that she got to see everything. On graduation night, despite tragedy, a proud grandmother, a grateful granddaughter. If you want to go, the family's yard sale is on the northwest side. You can also donate to a Wells Fargo account. All of the details that you need to help this family will be on kega9.com. In the newsroom, Kevin Keene, Kega 9. Thank you, Kevin.